Martin Markwardsen from Highland Park, yeah. Global Senior Brand Ambassador. Long Thank title. <laughs> Long title, but uh, just title. Yeah, yeah. Um, Thank you for being with us here in Bayreuth. Pleasure. The, the reason is a new single cask edition you're bringing out and showing off today. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, it's the, uh, the third in a line, actually fourth, but, but, but the second in the line for the Wagner uh, Festspiele were uh, the Erde, which was two bottles, but, but it's the, uh, the third in the line, the last in the line of, uh, of the uh, Festspiele bottling. So, we are ending up with Wutan or in Nordic, Nordic mythology Odin mm -hmm. um, and uh, a, quite a special one because it's, it's only a 10 year old uh, but it's, um, it's an amazing whiskey uh, and it's actually the most peated whiskey we have ever done. Um, so as a single cask it's the first time we have done mm -hmm. what we call a heavily peated malt. Yeah. Is it because the, the grain was heavily peated or did you use peated cask? No, it, 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 we, every year we, uh, we stopped the normal production. Mm -hmm. For our core range, 20% uh, of the malt we're using will be peated and 80% unpeated. Mm -hmm. But uh, some weeks every year we stop that normal production and then we only produce on the heavily peated malt we make ourselves. Mm -hmm. so, um, so some of these casks, of course, in our warehouse, and one of the casks were chosen for this uh, special bottling. And of course, if you, know, if you know a little bit about the story, everything ends up in flames and smoke. And we thought that would be a good idea to have a heavily peated mold as the end cask for the, uh, for the Wagner Festspiel. Uh, how did it come to the uh, cooperation with the Wagner Festspiel? Did you know? Well, it was um, so, some, some years back, um, we got a request and we thought the whole story about um, the, the, the Wagner Festspiele and, and the operas they had. And then we were doing a lot of things about Vikings at that time and we thought, you know, the whole thing about Norse mythology, the story and the twist we could do with different kind of single casks, everything from first fill American oak, uh, Shady Pungent till refill cask and now to the, uh, the first Phil bot here uh, and all these different kind of aspects the opera have but also in the aspect of flavors and do a series of that and it's been a, a huge success and um, uh, something we of course have learned a lot from uh, but also something where we see seen that uh, people kind of got an interest not only for Highland Park but also for what Wagner opera mm -hmm. was all about and uh, it's, uh, it's been a fantastic journey and some great people to work with as well. So, yeah. So, Wagner Götterdämmerung, the Twilight of the Gods yeah. and the Demise of the Gods. And Wotan, I think, is one of the last uh, in this theme. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not only for the Festspiele, but uh, in, in, in all Highland Park now. Yeah, yeah. So, you are focusing on other things right now, right? Yeah. So, so um, for people that have followed Highland Park over the last six, seven years have seen that a lot of special editions have been out, uh, mm -hmm. Twisted to Two, Full Volume, Valknot, Valkyrie, Valfather, all these kind of special editions. And we're kind of taking a break from that and then focusing much more on our core range. Mm -hmm. um, we launched last year a new 15 year old, which is part of our core range. We have, of course, the, uh, the cask string editions where uh, you might say it's special, but it's not really because there's a lot of a lot of bottlings. But we we uh, are quite transparent about the uh, the cask string. That uh, the first one was more uh, European oak, next one American oak, and then the one that comes out after summer will be a little bit different. So these these cask string, even though it's part of our core range, will be different. And then we have focused. Um, of course, to make our 18-year-old a little bit better. Mm -hmm. You might say, well, shouldn't it be the same? But you can always improve uh, having the same mouthfeel and some of these can, but improve the quality of the, the whiskey. So that's something we have done. 
uh, and then the more exclusive range from 21 and up mm-hmm. uh, we try to again be a little bit more transparent about the amount of cars and what cars we have used uh, and um, focus much more on a core range and of course make that mm-hmm. as good as we can so you won't see too many special editions from Highland Park uh, over the next couple of years and uh, I think that's good for us and that was basically when 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 Covid broke out that was one of the things where we kind of leaned back and said okay let's reflect uh, what has been good what has been bad uh, and sometimes when you're in the middle of the whole thing uh, you, you know you just go for it um, but it kind of gave us the chance to reflect and said what what should we do and we decided that the core range is of course where we want people to know Highland Park mm-hmm. Uh, the other one will disappear slowly, so if we can get the core rings to work. And, and it seems like we, um, we have reached what we wanted. The core mm-hmm. range is increasing in sale and the core range is, in my opinion, getting better and better. You seem to be a little bit anti-cyclic to the whiskey industry because you were about the first ones to come out with a lot of single casks and this industry followed. Now you're going back to the core range. Yeah, well, the, the, the single cask were, um, I, I, I probably have to put that on my shoulder and feel guilty about that because when, uh, when Jason Craig, our brand director, came back from Cody Sark, we had a, mm-hmm. a good discussion about um, what could we do to kind of make the awareness of, of Highland Park a little bit bigger. Uh, and because we 10 years before that time, had a single cast program that really, really worked, some fantastic single cast. I thought, could it be a good idea to bring back the single cast program? And Jason, he was not really sure about that. He thought, oh, it's not a good idea, but uh, I probably put a little bit too much pressure on him. So eventually he said, well, you can, you can choose 10 casks for the Nordics, which I did and became a huge success. Um, one of the things that of course happens when new things come out and, and what, what we see from uh, consumers were that a lot of these single cask ended up on, uh, on auctions for a ridiculous amount of money. So, but we also wanted these to be kind of accessible for everyone. We, we wanted these to be around the world so everyone could kind of get the feeling mm-hmm. how it would be to go into a warehouse in Orkney and, and uh, taste something from a cask because no matter how we want it you know there's um, uh, there's this problem with Orkney that it's too far away so not a lot of people visiting it and 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 so on and we have fans around the world that really want to to um, come and see us but uh, and taste whiskey straight from the cask and these kind of things so so we decided to to bring it out there was all the additions for the airports and these kind of things mm. and uh, I know a lot of people, they, they said, well, there's too many now, but we never really made this for collectors. We made this for people to buy, taste, drink, and had a good time. Yeah. Uh, and I think right now, uh, you know, I got a call the other day and said, oh, uh, this, this single cask is still on the shelves, doesn't go really well. Yes, it do. We, 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 we don't want it to disappear in a week. Mm. We want it to be part, uh, not of our core range, but be um, something where you can say, well, this is, this is a showcase as well of what we can do. So basically, we, uh, we are happy enough if it's on the shelf for a year mm-hmm. uh, and people buy it slowly. And, and it's, um, it's a good way to tell people what Highland Park is also all about. But yeah, there's been, uh, there's been quite a few, but it's like, uh, if you have a success, why, why stop? Yeah, sure. And um, we will probably change the single cask program over the next couple of years. Uh, we have done 10, 12, 13, 14 year old uh, single cask, uh, which will probably be discontinued. And then you will see a more exclusive range of single cask, mm-hmm. older, uh, coming out. Um, and of course, for a higher price. But I think now people have tried younger single cars now we probably try to see if we can come out less single cars but more exclusive yeah let's uh talk about the the, the core range a little bit yeah uh, you brought up the 15 year old yeah. uh, lately 
which is an absolute nice, yeah, yeah, yeah. very drinkable whiskey. Exactly. Yeah. And you talked about uh, the 18 year old that it will be beefed up a little bit. Yeah. How will you do it? By cask selections? Or? Yeah, but it, it, it's, yeah, it, it's, it's got in motion. And if we, uh, you know, there's, um, uh, it, it's fair to say that, you know, cask will change over the years. And uh, some years we have a really good selection of cask. Uh, some years we have uh, less good and uh, I think everyone will agree that if you go back uh, four, five, six years maybe even that Highland Park 18 were fantastic but it was not as good as it used to be and there's of course a lot of uh, things that have changed in the whiskey business when we when we launched for instance the 18 uh, we did that in, in the late 90s uh, so 1990s and uh, at that time, we didn't really look at the age. Of course, the youngest had to be 18, but it was not unusual. We were using 30 or 32 year old casks mm. in, the, uh, in the 18, simply because we could. Um, as the uh, demand grew for the 18, as the pop you know, popularity of it grew and people loved it and so on, uh, we, um, we of course have people in the company called accountants, <laughs> so and accountants always look at, well, why are you using 25 year old, the first year old in the, in the 18, and, and um, so it got closer and closer to to the age of 18, and thereby also you change the mouthfeel a little bit. But with the cask we have now and the quality of the cask we have right now, Gordon really have the. Uh, the chance in which you can see the color is getting darker in the 18 uh, and it's all about natural color for Highland Park so uh, right now if you if you do blind tastings with the 18 and you take the ones 10 20 years ago uh, you will see they're very much alike because the quality of the, the wood we have today is really really good uh, sometimes uh, Gordon have uh, a problem keeping the color down because it's natural color and we have to also see that the color is almost the same even though it's natural um, so so the quality of the 18 is increasing because our wood is getting better mm -hmm. and it seems like uh, the whiskies we, we we have filled uh, over the last couple of years and the cars we have filled it into have been extremely good quality so i think uh, you'll see the 18 getting better and better even in 18 mm -hmm. years from now so yeah so for someone who has not tried island park before yeah which Nobody can imagine that. that no, exists. no, 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 no. <laughs> but what would be your recommendation to to try first? Yeah, well, I think um, I always thought that our twelve-year-old is a very good mm -hmm. introduction to the world of single malt, but it, of course also to Highland Park. I think it's very complex. It's very balanced. Uh, uh, there's a, a hint of smoke there, which we like in the background. It's fruity. Uh, it's uh, there's you know the beautiful notes of cereal is there. So, so I think the 12 year old has always been a good uh, introduction. But I also think that the new 15, um, and we can see that when people try that, they uh, uh, they really really like it because there's all these beautiful notes of tropical fruits. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, uh, we 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 have some good introduction. But the 12 year old which I think has increased in quality as well, uh, is, is a very good introduction, not only to Highland Park, but also to the world of single malt. Well, Martin, thank you for your time. Thank you very much. It was much a pleasure to talk to you. Well, thank you. Thank you. The same. Thank you. To the presentation of Otanar. Yes, we will have that.